What's going on guys? Thanks for tuning into the Rooster channel. Today we're going to be talking about using a virtual audio cable to sound the same way in game or through discord, whatever you want to use as you would to your stream. Now, the way this is going to come into play and really make a big effect on your stream is whenever you are playing with another streamer, you're doing a collaboration and you want to sound good to their viewers, you don't because what's happening is you're using your raw mic just as you would without using any filters or anything in your OBS going to your stream, you're using a raw mic and you're talking to his viewers and they don't really hear you uh as well as you want them to compared to your stream you want to stand out and you want them to listen to you and be like oh there's there's something going on with this guy he's got something going on that's pretty nice so what we're going to be doing is using obs's audio monitoring feature to play back that audio through that virtual audio cable into the game or into what whatever you're using to uh, talk to the other streamer or your friends, whatever. It's always nice getting a compliment like, wow, I thought I had a stream up in the background, but it's just you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, switch over right into the tutorial. And also, if you guys learn anything from this, please drop a like or say anything in the comments if you have any questions. It gives me feedback, lets me know that you guys are really enjoying the content that I'm putting out. I know it's my, only my second video, but anything helps. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into this. So this is the link down below. It's going to be the virtual audio software. You're going to go ahead and download right here this little orange box. Once you do that, it's going to pop up in your downloads folder. So it's going to come as a zip file. Don't worry about that. You're just going to go ahead and extract all right there. You can, you can just do it right there. I'm going to go ahead and replace the files in my destination. Okay. So now that we're here, we're going to go down to VB cable setup 64 and you can just run through this. Now this says remove driver for me. Don't worry about that. It's going to say install for you and go ahead and run through the process. You will have to restart your computer for this to fully work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw up a big logo of my channel. If you guys wanna restart your computers really quick and come back to this marker right here, please feel free, I will wait for you. Do, 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 do. Are we back? Okay, awesome. I'm glad the restart went well. Hopefully everything is going good. So now what we're gonna be going is, we're gonna be going into OBS. So let me go ahead and drag this over and we're going to be throwing up our display. Okay. So now that you're here, what you're going to want to do is go into your mic auxiliary settings, advanced properties right there. Now here you're going to be looking at your mic and go over to monitor or audio monitoring. Now the options here is normally the default is monitor off or monitor only and mute the output. You don't want that because you actually want to output uh your audio and the monitor and output is actually going to output it to the virtual audio cable so go ahead and close that once you have that done go to your settings in obs and down here in advanced you're going to look at audio monitoring device this cable input should show go ahead and click that just uh you can leave that checked um that should be fine this is a default setting just go ahead and hit apply and then okay now to double check that it's all working and another step that you have to do is right click on your uh, little speaker icon down there and go to sounds. Now once you're here you're going to go to recording and scroll down to see cable output. Click on that go to properties. Once you're here you're going to want to listen to the cable input because it's going to install a cable output and a cable input. So go ahead and let that listen to cable input and if you're doing it right same thing as me, you're going to see your cable input pick up because that's where your OBS is outputting it to. And then recording, the cable output is gonna be recording that input. And this microphone, essentially, because I mean, you can see my headset there. This microphone essentially is going to be uh, your new mic for anything you see. So let's just take Discord for example. Let me go ahead and pull this over here. Just looking at Discord here, Cable output, boom, it's gonna be right there. 
Now, just for a quick little thing here, you can go ahead and do that voice activity. Just turn this all the way down. You don't want any filters in uh, Discord or any other game or thing that you're using because you already have all your filters and everything enabled. So now uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. I love to hear feedback from you. Again, if you learned anything from this tutorial, if it's gonna help you in your stream sound better to other streamers when you collaborate, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Rooster channel. And uh, as always, stay motivated and happy streaming.